Well, tonight police are trying to find the man who fired shots at a group of children, young children, hitting an eight year old girl in the side. She is recovering tonight and has a surgery scheduled to have the bullet removed. Channel 4's Ann McCloy spoke only with the child's grandmother, who was also injured in that drive by shooting. The bullets came flying when Lavenia Wilford was walking through the front door of her sister's house. When I felt something hit my back, and that's when I went to the floor. She'd brought her grandkids over to play with their cousins. Six kids were inside when bullets started blowing holes in the front of the home, at least a dozen. One went through the screen door, grazing Lavenia's back. Another struck her granddaughter, eight-year-old Janisha Lazardi. The shot went through her abdomen and stayed lodged in her little body. She could have got killed. I could, I mean, I'm not so much worried about me, I'm worried about her. The kids and adults ducked for cover, tried to get into a bedroom for safety. About that time, we was crawling to her bedroom on the floor, crawling. Hopkinsville police say the kids and their grandparents were innocent victims of a drive-by shooting. They believe the shooter was looking for revenge. I think it's a very cowardly act that, that took place. Anything I can do, I'm more than willing. Today, caring neighbors stopped by to comfort a family shaken. I can't just let that go. Angered someone would put a kid's life at stake for their fight. In Hopkinsville, Ann McCloy, Channel 4 News. Tonight, that eight-year-old is in stable condition. She'll go through surgery on Monday to have the bullet removed. Now, Hopkinsville police are offering a $2,000 reward for any information anybody might have that would lead to an arrest.